to come on and really talk about interpersonal leadership. It's it's huge. You know, it's about inspiring and enabling people to do the best that they can. And, you know, while the most effective strategic leaders think from the outside in, the best interpersonal leaders take an inside approach to people. They enable people to you know, give them a structure or framework to guide their own thinking and action, right? All these mindset coaches that are out there now, that's, that's kind of what they're doing. They, they get to leverage and accelerate process or progress. Um, they give them in a confidence in their own motivation and strengths to fuel the spark of inspiration that's already inside of them. And, you know, it's the definition of leadership is just really happiness it's doing good for others it's doing things that you're good at and doing good for you right so um the challenge for interpersonal leaders though is how to really inspire enable and enable people to realize that together right um you know taking in that inside approach inside out approach to people can be a challenge right it's it's opposite of what we've been taught right we've been taught to really just go in, lead, drive, all that stuff. And you have to be really starting to acknowledge what matters to you, what matters to other people. And really, you know, understanding that bond is what's going to bring you closer together um, with your people, with your team. And, you know, starting with that, you really, people have to have structure. Think about children, right? They have to have structure. They have to have routines. And there should be no reason why us as adults and leaders don't have that. People appreciate some structure. Now, don't be a dictator and control freak about it, but um, just have a little bit of that structure and it helps people know where to start and it helps them to focus and guide their thinking about how to achieve purpose, right? You've got uh, so many different different um, examples of structure, right? You're driving there's structure out there, right? <laughs> Otherwise it would be chaos. People know the rules, the basic rules sure. of the road, right? And um, so you've got frameworks for swimming, right? So you've got different lanes that they stay in and using those using those things that um, it, it allows people to focus on what matters most and have boundaries, right? Another thing as an interpersonal leader is that you have leverage right you you're able to help them think or act sometimes you're you're kind of do it for leverage and other times your um the goal is to not disempower them right once you've given someone else the accountability for something they're in charge and you should act as the as first their best assistant their leverage they're not yours they're not anyone else um another thing is in interpersonal leadership is not about earning people's confidence in you it's about having confidence getting them to have confidence in themselves that's huge right absolutely huge it's all about helping people recognize and understand and believe that their own strengths are a bridge and a helping them bridge their gaps right we all have gaps in our lives we all need assistance in that trying to fix their gaps is usually a losing proposition but on the other hand finding ways to take those gaps off the table by compensating for them allows people to focus on their strengths so it it works better and it builds the confidence in them so now that you have those couple things you're able to inspire and enable others to do their absolute best together and to realize a meaningful and rewarding shared purpose with confidence. Hope you have a great day and we'll talk soon.